Okay. It looks really, really small. Let's see what's in that little box. There it is. HD Home Run. The one terabyte hard drive. It's supposed to be able to do 150 hours worth of TV shows. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, that's little. I got extra large hands though. Pretty simple. It, it runs off your home network. Your TV and this has to be off the home network. So instead of putting that antenna into the TV, you put it here and then this records it. But you have to have an HD home run application. And I'm not so sure my TV has that, but I do know that Roku does. So it'll go from this to the internet, well, home network, to the Roku. And then the Roku will see this and be able to record. And Once you get your hardware installed and connected to your home network, you then come to a web browser. You could probably do it on your tablet. Nope, I discovered you can't do that because it has to be hardwire connection. It can't be Wi-Fi. At least it didn't work for me. The HD Home Run tuner is connected hardwire to my modem and router for my network. I tried doing it uh, just on my phone first, didn't work. Tried it on my desktop computer, didn't work. I connected my LAN cable, Cat5 cable from my desktop computer to the router and voila, it worked. So you go to uh, My HD Home Run, it'll search your device. Once it finds it, it'll bring this page up. First thing I did, this had an X here. I updated the version, updated the firmware. You just click on this up here, comes back. Or you can go back. Actually, the first, the next thing, you come into your channels and detect your channels. And it came up with 51 channels for me. I'm 47 miles away from Portland, Oregon. And then you can favorite them, unstar, star them. Hey, found something else. Just get rid of it. Ha ha. I don't want that. I don't want this public broadcasting radio. Radio FM. No thanks. I'll probably get rid of a couple other of these, but for now... I'm leaving it like that. And so you can go into your recorded files. You can see I have two shows already recorded. You can click on those. And it'll actually download to your computer and have an MPG file for that. It's DVR status. You can see 14 gigabytes used, 986 free. Go to tuner status. So I have uh, a few things being recorded. Go to DVR or tuner status. I'm not sure why that one's not in use. I thought I had three things recorded and it's being viewed on. Anyways, this is what happens when it's in use. You can see your signal strength, not too bad. Like I said, I'm quite a ways away. It's raining right now too. Stream rate. I saw that up as up to uh, five megabits before. Might be lower because I have three of them going. I'm not sure. But these are recording on my NAS via. The Plex server, 
um, I'm not going to use this home run scribe. I'm actually ordered the home run flex, which is just has the four tuners and not the DVR capability. It doesn't have a hard drive. This has a hard drive. I'm not happy at all with the application on Roku. And then also it has a link to the inst installation page back to the, where it was before. You just go down, choose your streaming device. I have a Samsung TV. It does not have an app at all for that. And this home run channel on Roku is not good. I'll show you that. So once I got my channel lineup done on the web page, I went to Roku, download the app, Home HD Home Run app. It searches for the device. And right off the bat, there's your channels. There's the recordings I have on that device. You saw it on the web page. You're supposed to have a TV guide that goes out two months or two weeks. Now there is it is sort of a guide, but I can't go up. I'm trying to go up and go further into the future. I can't do it. I can go over. I can view a channel. I can't go up. I can go in there. I could come down this way, but that's rather cumbersome. I have to do that for every one of them. So if I wanted to record that, oh, I clicked on it and look, it's just taking me to the channel. You can pause it, but I can't rewind. I'm trying to rewind. It won't let me rewind. How do I record from here? I don't know. Can't figure it out. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. If anybody out there knows, let me know. But uh, I have not been able to figure out this Roku app very good. However, I'm going to be using my NAS MediaPlex server. It works rather well. So it goes from my antenna to the HD home run to the network to the NAS from the NAS to the TV and or the Roku. Live TV and DVR. Ooh, look at there. Guide. So this is the application on my tablet. Now it is a rather old tablet, but it still works good. HD Home Run application on there. Opens up the last played channel automatically. These bears know how to do a You can see you click on this right here to bring this up. So again it's it's not very intuitive on how to you gotta just sort of play around. You can't go into the future. That's pretty neat, huh? Let's see if we can record something from here. I haven't played actually with this very much. Desperado, that's a good movie. Let's do it on this. Record sharing. 
you can see I think they're still working on the application because see how it's not aligned properly it's just some things are really hokey with it Like I said, I haven't played around with this much because I'm much happier with Plux. So one thing I was wondering and tested, there's four tuners on HD Home Run. And so I set up three shows to record simultaneously at the same time to see what the video quality is. Now this is an older TV show, so it's not going to be high def like you know most. See, it's an SD 480. What I found, I, I already surfed through these, and it looks really good. All three of these recorded at the same time. I'm really happy with that reception part of the tuner brought in. And I was watching something else while these were, were recording. So four channels off the tuner works just fine. No distortions, no deterioration. So my final verdict for the HD Home Run Scribe. You see the wrench there. It needs some work on the application side. They need to hire some programmers and figure it out. The hardware itself works really good. I'm going to send this back. I already ordered the HD Home Run Flux. Just the tuner part, no hard drive. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, I guess you can hit the thumbs down. Thank you now.